We have an exclusive interview tonight with the teenager who just days ago learned something that turned her entire world upside down. The woman she thought was her mom is instead allegedly her kidnapper. Police say sneaking her out of the hospital hours after she was born. Here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim. She was the only mother Alexis Manigo had ever known. <laughs> the interim order of the court is no bond be set on count number one, the kidnapping charge. 51 year old Gloria Williams in court this morning facing charges for allegedly kidnapping Alexis hours after her birth and raising her as her own. A devastating secret turning 18 year old Alexis's world upside down. She was always my support system with anything I wanted to do. Um, she was always there. Do you think about that ever? How, what your life would have been like? Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they, they weren't going to be good parents. I'm not saying that at all, but it would have been a different life. Detectives say Alexis, who her biological parents had named Kamaya Mobley, was taken just eight hours after birth in a Jacksonville, Florida hospital. Williams, said to be posing as a nurse, allegedly entered Shannara Mobley's hospital room and left with the baby in her arms, never to be seen again. Authorities launched an all-out search for the infant last seen in baby diapers wrapped in a pink and blue blanket. The kidnapping attracted national attention, even featured on an episode of America's Most Wanted. I just want to know where my baby is at. I just want my baby back. The case went cold for years, but her family never lost hope. I feel so strongly that mine is alive out there. Mine is alive and somebody raised them like they own them. A grandmother's hunch confirmed when two separate tips led investigators from Jacksonville, Florida to Walterboro, South Carolina. Investigators obtained a DNA sample from her earlier this week, and last night we received confirmation that the young woman that we contacted in South Carolina is in fact Kamaya Mobley. But court documents state that Alexis confided in a friend that Williams had told her about the kidnapping a year and a half ago. People Magazine reports that when Alexis asked for her birth certificate that she needed to get a job, Williams broke down, finally telling her the truth. It is unclear why she kept the revelation a secret. After so many years of hoping and waiting, her biological parents made the trip to South Carolina, meeting Alexis for the first time on Sunday. First meeting was beautiful. It was wonderful. We couldn't wait no better. For Alexis, she says all of it can seem overwhelming. Do you want to get to know them? I do. It is hard, but the love that I have for um, my mother will never change, regardless. And that's just it. I can get to know them and have the same love for them. She is a victim of her mother's crime, and we need to really allow her to love whoever she wants to love and to not make her feel guilty for having loyalty issues. And there's heartache for the man who thought he was her father. My name, though. <laughs> it's a name I have for years. Charles Manigo says his then-girlfriend Gloria Williams told him she gave birth to their daughter while he was away. Manigo and Williams raised her from the time she was a newborn. And that's just the love of my life. Tattooing her name on his arm, celebrating milestones like prom. One of the hardest things she said since this was going on was Friday. She's like, Dad, I love you, even though she knows what's going on. There is some pain there for you, knowing that she, she's not going to be right next to you like that anymore. I've known her for 18, this will be the 19th year. You can't just, that's a big part of my life. That's a big part of my heart. She made one mistake, but I was loved. But that one mistake, a very costly one. The judge is going to have to balance the fact that this is a horrific crime. Stealing a child and that eight-hour-old child is now testifying on behalf of the defendant. That will likely help her avoid a maximum sentence, but I don't think it's gonna help avoid a serious and stiff sentence. In Lubbock, Texas tonight, police and the FBI are looking for a woman they believe kidnapped a three-day-old baby girl. Authorities in Bellflower, California, hope the following pictures will help them find a missing newborn. Baby abductions from hospitals are extremely rare. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children reporting only 133 cases from 1983 to 2016, and the vast majority of them are found. 
That Alabama boy missing for 13 years discovered in Ohio. In rare cases, children find out about their own kidnappings years later. Authorities say the young man first became aware something was wrong when his social security number kept coming up invalid. As they become young adults and need documents to apply for college and jobs like Alexis did. Carlina White was also kidnapped from her hospital crib and raised for 23 years as Nidra Nance, but became suspicious and took matters into her own hands. I just started typing in Yahoo and Google, like different articles, like anything that pulled up in 1987, which any ch child missing. The once broken family reunited. I just always believed that she would find me. That was something that I always believed in myself. Alexis's attorney, Justin Bamberg, says she too will now have to focus on the basics in rebuilding her life. Driver's license, social security number, birth certificate, the, the basic documents that someone needs to be an adult in America in 2017. And any relationship Alexis is able to maintain with Williams, who could face life imprisonment if convicted, will likely need to happen across prison bars. It's a long road. But Alexis can have two people who really love her and want her. And at the end of the day, that's a better story than being abandoned or unloved. Still, Alexis unwavering in her dedication for the woman who kidnapped and raised her. I will never have malice for her, no hate towards her. I will always love her. Even though she did what she did. I will always love her. And there's the risk that you'll never have that same interaction with her again. I have memory that will never die. For Nightline, I'm Eva Pilgrim in Jacksonville, Florida.